to add interesting things and sounds to our project is really easy, really important too, to make our project more interesting. To do that, you can come over to stickers and this is going to be all the pre-built in stuff that CapCut has. And so you can click on one of these, like for example, you can click on this one that says live and I can just drag it into my timeline and drop it. And that live is now a layer. You see this yellow layer down here and that indicates where this live sticker is going to play from. And so if I hover over it, if I click on it, I can move it around my screen. I could put it like in the top right, for example, I could make it smaller by over here on the right where it says transform. I could click this and slide it to make that smaller. So it's not so in the way I could take some of these arrows like this. And right at that part where I added the fast forward in the previous lesson, I'm just going to add that there. And you can see each one I add adds a new layer. So things are just starting to stack up here. I have my captions layer on the bottom. I have my main layer down here. I have the shadow layer, which was the, the filter I applied. And then the stickers are these yellow ones. I got this going on. And what I want to do is make it so it's pointing forward so I can go to rotate. And I could type in 90 there. Oops, that rotates it straight up. So let me do 180 instead. There we go. Now those arrows are going to be facing forward when it's playing in fast motion. I could change the alignment. You can do like left, center, right, that type of thing. Top, middle, bottom, like so. You can add an animation to this. So same as we saw in the animation lesson, this would just be applying to this particular sticker. You can have it bounce in have it spring in, slide in, all these different things like that. Let me do a slide from the right. There we go. That looks good. And so you can do that for in, out, or if you want it to loop, if you want the sticker to keep playing and have a certain animation, then it can do that. And then to add music or sound effects, come over to audio and you can see that we have this music column, music toggle, and you can play one of these. So you can just click on it. And it plays a sample, click on it again to pause it. And if you find one you like, you can just hit the blue plus button and it adds it. And it adds this music layer below my main layer. So here's what it looks like. And I'm just going to click it, drag it so it's right at the beginning. And then let's play this. Let's see how it sounds. So just like that. And if it's too loud, I can click on that layer. I can find this volume setting and I can just dial this down. To like negative 10 and there we go now I'm gonna be quieter and I can do the same there's different uh, sections here so you can find different like styles beats R&B fresh all that kind of stuff and then there's sound effects and sound effects are gonna be just very short sounds instead of these long music tracks it'll be like a typing sound effect taking photos things like that you can click on it to to demo it and then if you like it you can tap that plus button and it adds it to your project. And you can see once again, it adds a layer down below everything, but then I could line this typing sound effect up with a part in my video where it makes sense. Meet me over in lesson 13 by clicking on this video next.